Manchester United to kick off on a Manchester City pitch still lovingly tended by their 70-year-old groundsman Stan Gibson. So it's blue against red in Manchester again. It's the third meeting this season, the other two have been at Old Trafford. Both narrowly won by Manchester United, 1-0 in October in the league. And more recently in the FA Cup, Manchester United knocked out City 2-1 after City began very brightly. Keane. Here's Fronsek. Alec Ferguson had quite an awkward team selection for this game, with players suddenly becoming available, and Steve Bruce had virtually ruled himself out of the Easter programme. And Dennis Irwin, who was hurt late on against Queen's Park Rangers three weeks ago. So uh, Gary Neville playing in the centre alongside Bruce, Phil Neville at right back, Owen at left back, supported on the outside here by Keane. Cantona, classy touch, Beckham, but stronger than Brown. Be a sparky contest. And Manchester United end up with a free kick from which they would hope to fashion an early strike for the goal guarded for Manchester City by Aika Immel. First derby at home for the city manager Alan Ball. He'll be concerned about Beckham's free kick, but the concern was minimal in the end. Well, David Beckham, who got the winner in the semi final and immediately announced that he didn't think he'd play in the FA Cup final, such as the competition for places with Manchester United, I don't suppose he expected to be playing in the derby. Simons, Fronsek, it's a foul by Beckham. Simons. Quinn, who's uh, certainly found some form again and has often done well in the past against Manchester United, the tall Irishman. Not that City can look back with any great affection on their recent record in these neighbourly clashes. King Kladzik. Keen spiriting the ball away. Here's Butt. Curl trying to close him down well forward, the centre-back. Beckham. Nigel Clough responsibly dropped in to fill a hole. Keeping the ball under some pressure until Cole is caught offside. Now, City wanting to break quickly. Too quick for the referee's liking. And it's very hard for Mike Reed to make his point here. The crowd uh, wanting to know why, and Keith Curl as well. Free kick taken from the wrong place. Here's Quinn. Clough. Quinn just getting a bit of space in behind the United midfield. Keane. Giggs. It's a good idea. Aiming for Beckham's run. Brightwell. Cavalashvili with uh, an extravagant touch. who's been very glad to have a fellow countryman around to share his English experience. Some of it. Not very much a midfield man today. Brown. Fronsek. Well, he's one-on-one -on -one with Phil Neville here. There's not much cover for Manchester United. The cross comes in. But uh, some of the challenge for with Irwin.
Dix can maybe set off here. Simons with a problem. Giggs with the pass, oh, it's come back to him off curl. And now he looks for Cole the second time. Right, well, very much needed in that part of the pitch at that particular moment for Manchester City. City actually, given their current uh, league position, have got a surprisingly good home record. They've not been beaten on this ground this year. can be sorted out over the Easter weekend. Phil Neville, no one's running with him. Beckham to try and force that across under challenge. Well, Phil Neville, having been very ambitious with the run, was just a little tentative in the end with the pass, which didn't give Beckham the best chance of keeping the move going, but Keane's pulled to the back post, it won't go that deep, Irwin, here is Roy Keane, reversing it for Irwin, oh he's brought down, penalty, Nicky Samovic on Dennis Irwin, in the seventh minute, a penalty for Manchester United. It was lovely interplay between the two Irishmen, and Samovy stretched, got the man, not the ball. Straightforward decision for Mike Reid. And clearly a trip. And of course, if it's a penalty, it means Cantona against Immel. And there is Eric Cantona again. Absolutely spot on. Well, undoubtedly the man of the month of March. And here we are in April with the dreams of the title coming closer, Manchester United hope to becoming seven, reality, and Cantona is centre stage again. The Frenchman faultless from the penalty spot. Well, Manchester City... with uh, such a rut against United to try and get out of. And uh, you certainly felt that the first goal would be important for them to get it. They've conceded it, but here they are, Somerby, who gave away the penalty, looking for a cross here. Oh, Schmeichel uh, somehow uh, got Bruce to get out of the way of it. Could have been confusion there between the two. Well, Nicky Somerby sent off at Bolton last Saturday. that error which has led to Manchester United scoring the first goal of the derby it's Kamalashvili's pass for some of it thudded it into Irwin the roles momentarily reverse between the two involved in the penalty incident it's Curl's ball for Quinn. He clads it! Well, Peter Schmeichel has come a long way to uh, start the post-mortem. Brown, King clads it. Bruce came in. But... It's a foul by King clads it. But typical of Manchester United's mood that uh, Butt was prepared to get the ball down here and uh, even though it was very tight, wriggle free until he was felt. Giggs with the cross. Beckham who found himself in the central striking position alongside Cole. Cantona's gone to the right. Quinn did well. King clads it. Such a supreme individual. Kalash really is offside.
and clearly so. The 124th meeting between these Manchester rivals in league football. 32 wins for City, 47 for Manchester United. But gets the better of Brown and uh, takes on Simons. Well, he's a local lad, Ricky Batten. There aren't so many of them about in the derbies these days. He's playing with uh, a particular passion in these formative minutes, almost 15 minutes gone. Already United leading. Bruce, this is Cantona, but he didn't really make an attempt to play the ball in the end. Eric Cantona has started six Manchester derbies and scored eight goals at the expense of the local rivals. Free kick, picking him out from Beckham. Oh, Cole, can he take it in here? Well, Summerby did enough to unsettle Cole as far as the chance was concerned and also maybe just unsettle his temper a little bit as well as the two looked at each other rather sternly afterwards. King Kladzik, he's got a free kick this time. He's got the ability and the self-belief to unhinge even the very best. And although Manchester United had three around him then, they've conceded the free kick. Nigel Clough having a good look at it. And looking for Quinn! Well, he beat Bruce, but not Schmeichel. The aim was true from Clough, but Quinn's header went straight at the goalkeeper. Is there anything deliberate there on Beckham? No. Flip forward by Kerr. Bruce and he's pulled up a little bit, holding the small of his back at the moment. Gary Neville to his younger brother. Brown puts it out. Manchester United eyes still just looking at Steve Bruce. He seems not to be in serious trouble. Trying to squeeze the play here. And, uh, Brown got away with a miss kick. Had a contact from Clough, but too long. King. Look to <laughs> drop that pass beyond Manchester City for the run of Phil Neville, but he didn't quite take into consideration the length of leg for Niall Quinn. He'll come back to defend. But and, uh, Quinn wasn't long enough in the leg. Butts cross, Keane coming in, Summerby trying to chest it forward. 
Dix. Becker. It's nicely worked left to right for Manchester United. Phil Neville. Back with Beckham again. But well, he's really in the mood, Nicky Butt. That was beautiful individual work from him. The linesman has his flag up. Well, there are plenty of bright players uh, on the pitch in the opening 20 minutes. Nicky Butt really has caught the eye. Curl. Who's coming round Quinn to get a foot in? Simons. Manchester United happy to hold their shape. Look on from Quinn. as both teams settling into a pattern of uh, retreating pressing as far forward United happy to keep the ball at the back City waiting to pick off the passes Bruce Simon's in the way. McCann ball. Cavalashvili, not to the referee. Some news for you from Highfield Road, where Liverpool, who enhanced their, their own challenge by beating Newcastle on Wednesday, have gone a goal down to Coventry and Noel Whelan. No, that has reached Alec Ferguson yet. Bruce. And now coming again to try and influence proceedings from within his own half. But Manchester City, a team that uh, are already a goal down. Obviously, at this relatively early stage, no need to go uh, diving in and overcommitting themselves as they look for the road to recover it. Have to be vigilant now, though, for Giggs. Over Summerby, a bit of spin that might suit Cole. That's no free kick for Andy Cole. Others have been scoring in the cup for Manchester United, but Eric Cantona really does have a monopoly at the moment on their league goals. City will take any goal from any quarter in this fixture. They'll lose again today. It'll be the third season in a row that their great rivals have done the league double over them. And they really could fall between now and the rest of the match with the adverse statistics for Manchester City in these games. The statistic that matters at the moment is that it's City nil United 1. We've just passed the halfway mark in the first half. Brightwell. Think about Cavalashvili, he's very much an unknown quantity to Manchester United. Alec Ferguson saying he knows nothing about him. Maybe he's got something that can catch United by surprise. He'll need a bit more of the ball than he's getting at the moment, though. And Giggs trying to get in behind City down the United left and successfully. Simons, another of the new players brought here this season, Francis Lee, and he was a player, of course, said he was setting higher standards, now the chairman, and uh, at the moment, 
the feeling around Main Road for the majority. Not too optimistic, but Derby games often fly in the face of form. Right. Just sense the city needs something to spark off the crowd at the moment. And I might get that in that Gary Neville could uh, get a yellow card. And will get a yellow card for coming into the back of Quinn. Looking for Neville. Chopping down a tree, bringing uh, Niall Quinn to earth. Some of it. Half leaving it for King Kladze. Brown. Manchester United have got everyone back within 30 yards of Schmeichel's goal. Curl. Bruce at his best. Cole. Uh, Simons will recover. Michael Immel has done so well here this season that the former favourite in the city goal, Tony Coton, has actually joined Manchester United. He's back up for Schmeichel. So he's not amongst the main substitutes today. Manchester City do have their goalkeeper for anything before Immel. Martin Margotson. Quinn. Irwin can put in and then Clough likewise for City. So a sparring situation really in the game at the moment. Which suits Manchester United more than the home team. Adam Cantona's early successful penalty. Avalashvili. Spirit of Steve Bruce. Cole. Put from behind by Curl. And it was cynical enough for Mike Reed to produce the yellow card for Manchester City's captain. In this picture here last season, there's a bit of uh, argy bargy between these two. And Cole got a goal on his derby debut. And United won 3 0. 1-0 so far today. Some of it able to get it down. Passed by Giggs. It's a city throw. Clough. Well, glanced on by Quinn. Right, well, finding himself position to chase and it wasn't too much in the end but again it was enough to just lift the imagination of the city supporters Brown it's past Buck but Keane was there to help and just to knock it forward here into acres of space that Beckham can fill with the ball he's got three keeping pace with him he's got Eric Cantona closing in off oh. But it is a big surprise when he misses out. And in a way, it justifies the rather sparring uh, tactics that City have shown even since going behind, because when they do get caught over-committing, the spaces are there for Manchester United to exploit. And Alan Ball's team were let off the hook by, of all people, Eric Cantona. Mike Summerby there alongside the Manchester City manager, of course of the player who conceded the penalty, who's on the ball. King Gladze. Quinn, from set. For company. Quinn was looking in the opposite direction, wanting to be a bit more direct. Now he can go to the left. Never rather in the way that Michael Brown 
But in the way in his own penalty area earlier and wasn't penalised, so it's a corner and not handball for Manchester City. Some of you will take it. Simons has come up. Quinn waiting by the near post. Short of him. Beckham able to get it out of harm's way. Fonsec. Quinn. Some of eight cropping up on the left. He's across there to take that corner. Brown. Now King Kladze. Can Manchester City break Manchester United down? Brightwell, Fronset. Corner again. That's all they ask about handball. Now Fronsek, the way the game is shaping up, he's going to see a lot of the ball playing down the left in that wing-back position. It's another Mickey Summerby corner, just over half an hour gone. And a bit of sorting out to do uh, and Mike Reed before the corner can be taken. Quinn's taken up a different position this time, he's pulled away deeper. And he's got to it! Well, it is this route that Manchester United know all about. Which, um, putting up a a barrier to Niall Quinn it's not necessarily one and the same thing he is such a massive man he's in good form but so much at stake here in both caps Karolashvili King Kladze gets on for Frontek well he might have made more of it He's a really battle-hardened campaigner from the Bundesliga, Michael Fronsek. And he fancied his chances from the tight angle. Kamilashvili. Good flags there. Distance to come out too impetuously. The two of them got it right for Manchester United. Made it look routine at the end, but there's nothing routine about this fixture, and particularly this season with United seeing another championship in their sights. Manchester City who were relegated twice in the 80s, knowing enough about life down at the bottom. Until it's mathematically proven that they are safe. And then will they relax? Some of it. Just feel that there's going to come a spell in the game when Manchester City will perhaps get a bit more of the ball. It's very hard to win away matches, even when it is topped versus near the bottom in this most competitive and most compelling of leagues. I think what a difficult game Queen's Park Rangers gave Manchester United three weeks ago. It's a free kick that Cantona debates about taking. The gigs back for Irwin. Cantona again, slide rule stuff. Irwin, Cole. Curl. Well, whether Giggs thought that that should have been a corner and was happy to let it run as well, it looked that way. Pete Curl had no doubts, and the referee ruled with him. Goal kick. Simons. Fronsek. Gary Neville. 
Brown busy to get it back from Beckham. Frontek. Whole uh, mood here at Main Road could change dramatically if Manchester City could get a goal before half time. Certainly have uh, United fretting. Summerby. Diggs on the stretch, conceding the corner. Wanting to try and take charge, you feel, at the corner. Wins got into the goal area. Does involve either of those players in the end. It does involve Brown. And the clearance to suit the circumstances for Gary Neville. Some of it. Well, he was eased out of it by Irwin. Free kick to Manchester City. Eight minutes to go to half time. King Gladze. Franzek again. Unmarked. Bruce puts it away. Clough. Summerbeck. No one trying to be more composed than Summerbeck was when he was defending against Irwin. King Kladze. Quinn should get to this one. Well, they've left it. Cantona. Quinn! Well, it was almost a case of having too many players in there for Manchester United, and Bruce hesitating. Bruce then heading. Quinn shooting. And it uh, hit the advertising boardings, not the back of Schmeichel's net. Quinn. Clough. And again they find Fronsek. Brought down by Beckham rather emphatically. So he's taken the free kick and worked it back to Fronsek again. Michael this time called upon to snatch it from Quinn's eyebrows. too much here, certainly in the way of free kicks, it's but on Brown, but also in terms of territory, as if the 1-0 lead has been deemed almost enough to see it through, surely coming so early after seven minutes that can't be the case. Quinn, it's 1-1, my goodness, what a story! Kavalashvili on his debut in a Manchester derby from Niall Quinn's knockdown. Instant opportunism. Fronsek, no surprise that he's had a part in it because he's had a lot of the ball. Quinn, this time, teeing up a teammate and it nestles in Schmeichel's net for the newcomer. Mikhail Kavalashvili from Manchester City. Number 32, Mikhail Kavalashvili. Well, it's a long name to splash across the back of a Manchester City shirt. But it'll be splashed across a few headlines if Manchester City go on from this. Five minutes to go to half-time. And Manchester United, who were, for my money, playing the first half out with too much caution now have to think more ambitiously in their play. And it's rare enough a goal in a league derby for City, but it's come at a great time for them. Unless, of course, they're punished straight away here by Cole! They are punished! Amazing response from Manchester United. A little more than a minute later. 
Well, this shows what they can do when they want to attack. And United Cantona, of course, at Cole. the heart of it. It wasn't the cleanest hit shot from Cole, but it did the job. City still inwardly celebrating. And the concentration just distracted enough to allow the chance. And a half that was meandering to a close as sprung into, well, the sort of storyline that we expected, full of drama. So it's Manchester City 1, Manchester United 2. Push, but the advantage could have been played. Pushed by Quinn. Oh, Philip Neville. What a sucker punch for Manchester City to absorb. Having got level and so quickly behind again. Cantona. Manchester United go back to their keep ball policy. Or oh, will they sense that Manchester City are oh, there really for the taking? It's but pass. Keane. Oh, Michael Brown did enough in the end. So. Andy Cole builds on his FA Cup semi-final goal. Alec Ferguson to shake his head. I would have thought it a disappointment with the way uh, United were coming towards the end of the half. And it's a properly punished, but they hit back in championship style, you have to say. And here's Cole, but an easy one to clip back. Now Beckham. And Simons. Kinkladze, Clough will take over. Kinkladze paved the way for that by bringing down Keane. We're in the 45th minute of the first half. Play by Dennis Irwin again, but Higgs has made a run and made some space by doing it. But the Keane was anxious to fill, but Buck took an alternative avenue. Keane, and I can pop it over. King Clancy's head for Philip Neville. Taking on King Clancy. Oh, and uh, that was a bit late with a challenge on the goalkeeper there. And uh, now Mike Reed has had a bit of Slapping to contend with between Simons and Cole. Cole certainly in trouble for the foul on the goalkeeper. Simons, given that Immel couldn't fend for himself, he was down on the ground, was taking up the cudgels on his colleague's behalf. Cole is booked. See that uh, Cole was definitely coming in uh, second on that. He didn't pull out of it. came off second best. In case of the wind being taken out of the sails. Extending stoppage time. It is half-time, a game that had 
An explosive start to the first half with an early Manchester United goal. Somerby bringing down Irwin. Cantona with the penalty. Then Cavalash really on his debut with an equaliser just over five minutes before half time. But City stunned by Andy Cole, who's still arguing the toss with the referee following his subsequent yellow card as he comes in. Manchester United quickly restoring what they hope will remain to be their supremacy. But at half time at Main Road in the Manchester Derby, City 1, United 2. Welcome back to Main Road with a substitution for Manchester City. They brought on Martin Phillips, a 20 year old. It's a tactical change. Here's some of it. Forward from Curl. Manchester City, who could have gone into a half time in much better shape if they'd uh, concentrated better, having just equalised. Kavalash Philly, he's got another chance here. Brilliant stop by Schmeichel. It's behind for a corner. Well, Schmeichel had to deal with a shot of some velocity from the scorer of Manchester City's first half goal looking to start the second half on the same note and in fact it hit him on the head I think that's why he's so stunned well the goalkeeper having to get lengthy treatment here but he's on his feet <laughs> Mike Reed sees the funny side of it. Alec Ferguson, who doesn't have a backup goalkeeper amongst his substitutes. Curl. Well, if uh, Schmeichel is still shaky, Manchester City want to give him some work to do, but they can't. And it's brought away by Butt. Cole. Quinn's gone to the left, Kinkadze on the ball, and they're having to work hard to keep it. Bruce trying to keep it unfairly with it off the pitch so that he could get back in position. Manchester United with Georgians very much on their mind at the moment because King Clanze and Kavalash Villi increasing their influence on proceedings in the Manchester Derby. Quinn. Cantona. Beckham banging it forward. Curl, and straight to Beckham. Phil Neville moving uh, down the right. In fact, he's gone way beyond where Cantona could have found him. Cantona <laughs> worked off the ball strongly by Brown. King Kladze. Phillips to the right. King Kladze slips Keane. It's a terrific run, and in the end, he'd lost control of the ball when he went down. He'd knocked it well ahead. It's not to say there wasn't some contact on him, but Mike Reed ruling there in favour of Manchester United. Cole. Who's a crowd remembering his tangle with him all just before half time. And also with Simons. They got the better of Cole there. The proper way. Back from Gary Neville. A very long clearance from Schmeichel. Giggs didn't go under it with any great confidence. Well, uh, Ian Brightwell's been switched to play uh, on the left with Fronsek off. Brown was a bit fortunate to get the run of the ball then. Clough, Summerby. 
Clough again. And, uh, wasn't on the wavelength of Kavilashvili that time. Tripped by Quinn. Nothing sinister. But a foul nonetheless. Apologies for Beckham. He's a great sportsman, Niall Quinn. Very affable man. Manchester City have set great store by Quinn's talents in the time he's been with them over six years now. Schmeichel dallying. But, well, they talk about Clough not being the uh, quickest of players, but he's certainly one of the most committed. <laughs> That's uh, also something you can say about Butt and Brown. And Clough ends up as the ambassador. Well, Nicky Butt has got a uh, suspension coming up already. Whatever the referee's verdict here. It was a wild challenge by Brown in the first place, but what uh, Mike Reed didn't like was what happened afterwards. The arm raised by Butt, for which he's been booked, and uh, Brown also being summoned to the referee as well. You would think Mike Reed hasn't had the benefit of the pictures that we've just shown you, that the referee got that pretty much right. And booking a piece for Brown and Butt. Simons. Quinn. Did all that without really being aware of where his colleagues were. Phil Neville. Butt. Given straight back to Manchester United and Nicky Butt in particular, Giggs. Cantona looking to tee up Butt for the first time, Aaron. Can't recall too many goals that Nicky Butt has struck from outside the penalty area in the Premiership. Well, pause for breath for a moment with the news I'm about to bring you that Newcastle United are losing at home to Queen's Park Rangers. Ian Holloway has scored at St James's Park. Now, all sorts of gesturing from uh, Alec Ferguson and Brian Kidd, which suggests again that they want their players to not be lulled into this defensive outlook, which has been certainly a feature of parts of proceedings here, but in a way is understandable. It's such a big prize for the players, and suddenly now, having been the chasing team, they're the team that the others are chasing. Cantona for Cole. Here comes Butt. He's going to hit it. No, he's not going to hit it. He should have hit it. <laughs> he decided against the first time shot when he shaped for it. And then there were too many touches after that. Lovely play from Manchester United. The more attacking outlook in evidence here. Cole with great awareness of the midfield runner. And he decided to take it on, but rather got it caught under his feet. Kavalashvili. That's got to be careful in the timing of his tackles. Having had a yellow card. I remember he was sent off recently at West Ham for two bookable offences. <laughs> and the referee played an advantage then, I think. And Cantona thought it was a free kick and handled the ball to place it. Now, was that a lucky break for Manchester City? Half an hour to go at Main Road. City one, United two. Brown and Schmeichel well, Quinn's challenge forced a fumble but there was no one instantly on hand had to be exactly where the ball had dropped so quick with Schmeichel's recovery but it did elude the goalkeeper all coming from <laughs> Eric Cantona believing he'd heard a whistle that hadn't gone Brown 
curl. Two strikers splitting for City. They've got width. Phillips now having a go on the left. Well, he'd uh, manoeuvred himself to get the ball into the middle. But Beckham. Cole leaving it for Giggs. Keane. Back for Giggs again. There's Fenter to the left for United. Irwin. Another goal for Manchester United, and you feel the points will be theirs, that it might be beyond City, who was true 3 3 here with Newcastle and can rise to the big occasion. They certainly showed it that day. King Kladze. Brown. Brown again. United happy to see a City on the ball in this uh, area. So the passes uh, look to become more probing, but they'll want to pick them off. Brightwell. Did play in that uh, last. City win back in 1989. Some of it. He's done well. And they might have had a corner, might have had a free kick. In the end, gets nothing. Against the dependable figure of Dennis Irwin. Any vantage point will do. Crowd of just under. 30,000. Around 2,300 officially here representing and supporting Manchester United. They're the ones making plenty of noise behind Schmeichel's goal at the moment. They'll be hoping they don't get a very close up view of proceedings as the match develops. But they will here as this attack develops. King Kladze. It's a corner. It could have been worse for Manchester United, who've already conceded a goal to one Georgian. And here comes the one who's been in Manchester the longer, Georgie Kinkladze. And it was Roy Keane who got the telling touch. City's corner. Brown for Phillips. Back for Brown, better angle for the cross, although uh, he was forced a bit wider than he wanted. He's in the middle, still waiting for the ball to come in. They'll still be waiting because it's a corner. Manchester City showing signs of perhaps an ability to sustain some pressure here. Just a touch, they hope, away from an equaliser. Twin. Well, Schmeichel. Had help by the post from Phil Neville. But this towering figure of Niall Quinn. And uh, it might well have beaten the goalkeeper, but for the man on the line. Curl. Phillips going to let fly himself. And <laughs> seemed to surprise Schmeichel, perhaps. It came... Uh, Chest high, straight at him. Brisk counter-attacking here from Manchester United and Cantona. And a sliding challenge from Brown. Cantona and Clough getting in a tangle. And there haven't been many signs of Eric Cantona losing his cool since his comeback. But he's unhappy here. And it, of all the <laughs> provocative players perhaps in the league, the least likely one you might find is Nigel Clough. Giggs puts the free kick into the crowd. Manchester United still leading, but it's an uneasy, an uneasy situation at the moment. City with uh, a number of corners. 
Clearance off the United line. the song foie returned it was uh, irritated in the first place by the nature of Brown's challenge and then Clough kicked the ball it hit Cantona he might have felt it was deliberate and then words exchanged a bit of tugging going on a test of the Gallic temperament a temperament which has passed most tests since he completely uh, lost the plot at Crystal Palace That's how much it means to players on both sides. Well, Cavalash really has left his mark on his debut. A goal for Sabre. But another foreign forward with fresher legs. Obey Rosler, who's been such a favourite here, but rather incurred the wrath of Alan Ball when he played ineffectively at West Ham a couple of weeks ago he was injured last week when he might according to local speculation around main road have been left out of bolton keen keen again cole just caught offside city stepped up well to their credit Rossler getting involved straight away. Substitutes always pleased when uh, their first touches are sure and sound. Gives them an instant feeling of involvement. And it is sometimes very difficult to play a part and feel a part. Here he is again, Obey Rossler. Quinn far post. Rossler wasn't really appealing. The crowd was shouting to encourage him to add his voice. What was not at all in doubt was that it was a corner. Quinn to start his run from the edge of the area. He gets there again with some company because it's a, another corner. You can mark the man, but you can't mark the space that high off the ground that now Quinn can fill. And he really fancies it. It's in towards Quinn again, but it's too high. Brown has done well. It hit to Phil Neville. And uh, Kit Simons trying to round off the deflection beyond the far post. And it was but. Brown shot was on target until Phil Neville was again in the right place and Buck did enough to knock it behind for the corner and stop Simons following up to score. Quinn. Oh, and Schmeichel thought he could have got there. As the ball dropped in the end, it's a goal kick. But it's a scenario here to shred the nerves for the respective sets of supporters. And indeed, maybe for the respective sets of players as well, and certainly the managers. Alec Ferguson's team still in the driving seat. <laughs> but there's very little margin for error for them. And they're on the ball now with Cantona. But maybe looking for a comfort zone now which Cole could provide them. Phil Neville, Quinn's got it from here. Now Clough, and said he can counter-attack. Over Bruce for Rossler. Bruce backs off. Rossler goes for goal! A sensational strike by the Manchester City substitute, Rossler, who's had some criticism recently and replies in the grand manner. Bruce had all sorts of problems, 
and he couldn't stop the shot being released and Schmeichel had no chance in preventing its path as it sped beyond him into the far corner, 2-2! Two -two. City's equaliser from Uwe Rosler. 18 minutes to go. And given the territorial shape for the last 15 minutes or so, no more than Manchester City deserved. And all credit to Alan Ball, <laughs> who I think was on the uh, receiving end of those gestures from the uh, German striker who hit such a wonderful goal. But uh, he sent him on. And City sensing now something even better in the pipeline. Phillips. King Kladze. Bruce away. Brown. Simons. Brown again. Well, oh, that must have been very close. The offside flag is up. Well, Uwe Rosler scored 22 goals last season. They've been in shorter supply this season, but here is one to treasure. Beckham. And now Cantona. For Keane. But looking left to Giggs. Cantona can't reach it for all the acrobatics, and he gave it absolutely everything. Just too much uh, dip and swerve on it in the end. Off comes Andy Cole. Off comes Steve Bruce. Lee Sharp and David, David May. May. and Lee Sharp coming on. Well, May, the direct replacement Andy for the captain. Bruce going off. And Sharp has come on to put some stability into midfield, an extra body in there. So, uh, the feeling really from Alec Ferguson is that problems have got to be solved, and if it means a point is all that is produced today. Maybe in the circumstances he'll settle for that. Cantona has the captain's armband back on. Well, this local derby with the international flavour, the goal scorers including a Frenchman a Georgian and a German. And the one the Englishman on target has now left the match, Andy Cole. Hasn't detracted from the intensity, and it's uh, certainly added to the technique. As uh, King Clancy shows, Simons. 15 minutes left. Rossler. Found by Beckham on Phillips. Almost seven years since Manchester City last beat Manchester United. They've got the scent of victory here. Having uh, equalised twice, Phillips. Another free kick, further forward for City this time, taken quickly by Brown. Phillips was alert enough. Now that did look like handball. I hear uh, arms were certainly raised in, uh, I suppose, what the referee seen as a protective gesture by Phil Neville. 
been a number of those incidents in the game. Beckham. It's a difficult ball to try and pick out Giggs, but how about that for execution? It's got Manchester City backpedalling and changing direction. Cantona for Irwin. Oh, and he wanted it back for Cantona again, and uh, Cantona was rather expecting Irwin to uh, go on and finish the job himself. And now Cantona's on the ball for Giggs. Curls playing him onside. Ryan Giggs! Unbelievable! And Manchester United are in front again. And Alec Ferguson wants these celebrations cut short. He wants the uh, concentration to be back. Well, Giggs smashed it. And it zipped into the top corner. And Immel can only wonder. And Manchester City, well, their heads, certainly the heads of their supporters droop again. They must wonder what they have to do against Manchester United to come up with the right result. Well, Ryan Giggs, it's well chronicled in these parts, was connected with Manchester City as a schoolboy. He was somewhat spirited away to Old Trafford and Manchester United have never regretted that. A moment of inspiration in United's time of need. And of course Cantona had a foot in it as well. But uh, the glory really was Giggs's. And here's Giggs again. Sharp, Beckham. Well, Simons really at full stretch to deal with David Beckham after his first uh, effort. He stopped on the challenge really as he came in. It looked as though it might just go on into Beckham's stride, but Simon stopped that. Giggs. Well, 3-3, as I've mentioned before, here against Newcastle. Manchester City still have a chance to uh, repeat that scoreline and have a say at the top of the table and get themselves something towards the tally they uh, feel they need to stay in the Premiership. Rossler. Quinn. Diggs for Cantona. Challenged by Summerby. Sharp on his weaker foot. Keen. And then David May up to Beckham. They put their passes together in an area where one missed time ball could give them uh, real difficulties again. Brown into the back of Beckham. Ten minutes to go. Manchester City two. Manchester United three. Sharp. Plus tackle. And his pass and there's no offside. Rossler. Gary Neville trying to get there. Schmeichel saves, and Neville stops Rossler following it up. And this giant of a goalkeeper makes yet another important contribution to Manchester United's championship bid. Clough. Phillips. For Brown to uh, cross it after a moment's thought. Quinn, Giggs, Rossler's gone down, Brightwell, Simons trying to get the header in, it comes for King Klasse, can't get through the crowd. There's nowhere for Lee Sharp to go, uh, certainly no one for him to pass the ball to, except to just run it forward himself. 
And that was probably a reasonable policy. News of a Newcastle equaliser. Peter Beardsley, 1-1 at St James's Park against Queen's Park Rangers. But here, Peter Schmeichel save. Stopping a second for Rossler at an absolutely critical time. Clough. Brown. Phillips with the cross. Banged away by Butt. Clough. Everything in front of Kit Simons. Seven and a half minutes plus stoppage time left. Diggs. We'll get there before Simons, but then showed too much for the defender. Keane. Suits Manchester United to play on the counter-attack, but they're defending very deep and with great difficulty at times. Alec Ferguson will uh, appreciate, I'm sure, the room that United might have to work into. Not in quite enough room on this very big pitch for Beckham to keep the ball in play. May. It's 2-1 to Newcastle at St James's Park. Peter Beardsley again. What a day. The top of England's Premier League. Cantona. Oh, the pass <laughs> carried plenty of venom for Sharp. Six minutes to go. Is there another equaliser in the city locker? Simons. Quinn. Oh, Phillips got an awkward bobble, but he still got it towards Quinn. Clough! Oh. Well, I don't know how Schmeichel saw that, let alone hung on to it. Quinn let it run very sensibly. Clough really connected. And Peter Schmeichel made it look straightforward. It was anything but that. Not because uh, of the uh, direction of the shot was too demanding, but it came through uh, so many players. Curl. You rarely see Manchester United looking so anxious, but that's what... Uh, the expectations of a title can do to a team. What is most important for them, as Brian Kidd signals, five minutes, and Alan Ball tries to get the tempo of his city side. What is most important for Manchester United is what is on the score sheet. They have three, City have two. Brown. Simons. For once, Quinn can't make too much of it. Well, it is a free kick some deliberation taken by Phil Neville for Beckham Brown is the defender and a very good defender here there was uh, a real area of risk about coming into the uh, dispossessing routine as he did but it worked out well Phillips Rossler Good movement from Manchester City again. Quinn wants it to the far post. Rossler to King Kladzeff. 
Now Clough. He's got Brightwell to the right. Manchester United a bit short in that sector. Brightwell's cross. And that was Keith Curl. And that was close. Too close for Manchester United's comfort. Good ball. Back across from Brightwell. Over David May. And uh, Curl glancing it. stoppage time to deal with for the referee touch of cramp for Michael Brown <laughs> Rossler Simons, Rossler chasing, but uh, had a weary look to it, the long ball forward, or the way it was played, rather. Well, Manchester City have been in the match for much of it. Of course, that has been the story of many derbies that they have not won. going to be a sting in the tail to stimulate City to really hurt United but now Neville Phil Neville Use Beckham's determination here. <laughs> Michael Brown has got bags of that. Young players who I'm sure have competed against each other in the respective youth teams at the two clubs. And uh, Alec Ferguson, with the air of a man who cannot wait for the final whistle, he turns his back on the action as if uh, he still fears that the worst might happen. For Manchester United, Rossler. It's taken a loop, and it's produced a corner. Well, we're in the 90th minute, there will be time to be added on. And Manchester United haven't got their three points yet. Simons. Here's Martin Phillips. It's a very congested penalty area. And uh, Schmeichel was scambling on cutting it out. Gary Neville wasn't going to leave it to the goalkeeper, and he was probably wise to do that. It's another corner. And we are in stoppage time now. Michael, has he lost it? He has. It seemed that he dropped on it, and they smuggle it away. From right under the crossbar, really, as the goalkeeper tried to defuse the danger. Clough, Quinn, Rossler with the run again, Gary Neville, wasn't much pace on the ball, so he had to impart plenty of it with the header back. It's not been a performance of real authority from Manchester United. But it's getting closer and closer to being a winning performance. So difficult these derby matches to play in whatever the stage of the season they fall on the fixture list. But it could hardly have come at a more dramatic time for both teams and 
Manchester City. Now find that some of their time, and there's not much of it left, will elapse because of dangerous play by Quinn. Raising a foot as May stoop just a little. Yes, Mike Ferguson wants it as far away from Schmeichel's goal as possible. Now playing through midfield here, stick it into the corner. Well, it's where uh, Beckham will make a challenge. Three more points towards their title ambitions. United continue their domination of the Manchester Derby scene thanks to a glorious Ryan Giggs goal 12 minutes from time. That after Uwe Rosler had secured a second equaliser for Manchester City with a splendid shot. It all started with an Eric Cantona penalty and it looked comfortable for Manchester United in periods in the first half. Then the debutant, Mikhail Kavalashvili, equalised immediately. Andy Cole put United back in front. City pressed them all the way in the second half. But it's a third defeat this season for them at the hands of their neighbours. They've all been close. And given Manchester City's uh, excellent recent record at home, on a ground where Newcastle drew in February, Manchester United will be very pleased to have won here on Easter Saturday by three goals to two.